What's going on guys, it's Jho bringing you a brand new video and today Bungie revealed a bunch of new stuff coming in the April update. So today was the first of their three Twitch streams revealing a bunch of new things coming in this new April update DLC content release. So it's pretty exciting. Let's get into some of the new stuff that they mentioned in the stream. So uh, first of all, they mainly talked about the new things that we can do within the stream and there is other stuff posted on their website so I'll leave a link to the official page where they talk about the April update because there was a few stuff on there that I found that were not mentioned in the stream and I believe they're gonna add more stuff to that page as well when the future streams occur and we get more information on the rewards and the updates to the sandbox crucible stuff all the new changes for those things as well is going to appear and we'll learn a lot more about all those things later on as well. So first of all, we're going to get an increase in the light level. So the max light level is going to be 335 from a 320. So it's an increase of 15. It doesn't seem like it's that much, but it is a little bit of a jump. And you're definitely going to see a difference when you play some of the new PvE content. So uh, pretty exciting stuff. We got new gear to earn at 335 and it's going to affect even the PvP game modes like Trials and Iron Banner because you got to gear up and get higher level stuff for uh, Crucible as well. All those level based Crucible activities. So pretty exciting stuff. We can get more gear and increase our light so we got vertical progression going on. Next up we got a bunch of new PvE content so we're going to get a bunch of new quest lines. They showed some of these right here and we're going to get a new story mission and a new strike as well. So it's continuing from the events that occurred at the end of the Taken King launch back in September and we're going to basically have a lot of stuff revolving around the reef. The main vendor that we're going to visit is Varix and Petra and stuff in the reef. And we're going to visit the Prison of Elders once again as well. So a lot of people were speculating when they showed that Taken picture in last week's uh, This Week at Bungie blog update. So we're definitely getting a newer Prison of Elders. I'll actually talk about the Prison of Elders specifically in another video. But this is just an overview of everything else. So yeah, we got a bunch of new quest lines. And we also got some bounties for the House of Judgment reputation as well, which is Varix's faction. And then next up I want to talk about the new strike. So we got a new strike coming called Blighted Chalice. And based on the images and that short little teaser trailer we got at the beginning of the stream. Uh, we're getting a new Taken enemy for this strike. And it looks like it's going to take place on the moon. So pretty exciting. A new strike is always fun as well. And we're probably also going to get some strike exclusive gear for that particular strike as well. So that's pretty exciting stuff. So here are some of the screenshots that they showed of this new Taken enemy. So pretty exciting overall. And then they also mentioned that they updated one of the old strikes. So we got the Winter's Run strike, which is one of the original strikes from Vanilla Destiny. And it's been upgraded and updated for a Taken version as well. So it's probably going to be added to the Nightfall rotation. And it has been added to the weekly heroic playlist according to what they said as well so we got the Archon Priest in a Taken form so that's pretty cool as well and then another thing I wanted to mention was something that I found on the Bungie.net website so I'll leave a link once again in the description below if you guys want to check this out for yourselves but they did add a few things on this page regarding the April update that was not mentioned in the stream. So this right here shows us that they're updating the difficulty and rewards for King's Fall Raid and Court of Oryx. King's Fall Normal drops increase to light level 320. King's Fall Hard Raid drops increase to light level 330. And Court of Oryx artifact drops increase to light level 335. So it's making some of the current content or I guess the content that was launched in Taken King, it's bringing it up so we can still play it and it's not going to be totally irrelevant once all this new stuff comes out. So that's really good. We can still play King's Fall on day one and earn some new gear once this uh, expansion or not expansion once this update comes out and then one more thing before I leave I wanted to mention this image on the website and uh, they showed it a little bit in the stream as well but uh, this image shows two guardians holding some taken weapons and it looks pretty cool the titan on the left is wielding a taken sword that's pretty exciting I can't wait to earn uh, some new weapons and new armor pieces 
Uh, the new exotics are probably going to come out with this update as well, so that's really exciting. And I can't wait for all this new stuff, so we got more information coming. I'm also going to talk about Prison Elders in a separate video from this, so stay tuned for that. And then I got my usual uploads uh, coming soon as well, so thank you guys for watching as always. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Are you guys excited for this update? I'm excited. It's free content and it looks really good. It looks like a lot of new stuff and I can't wait for new Destiny content. So it's pretty exciting and I'm really excited for all this stuff. I can't wait to learn more that's coming in this update. And yeah, so that's about it. I'll catch you guys in the next one and peace.